This is a quick demo of fine print. I'm going to show you a few of the things it can do. In this case, I'm going to print a W-9 form from the IRS and fill it out using fine print. But we'll do some other things, too. So the first thing you'll notice is that I printed a fine print. And I have all of the pages that normally would have gone to my printer, but here they are in fine print. I can scroll through them. I can zoom in and out. I can go to full screen mode. And I can delete the pages that I don't need. At the end here, there are three pages of instructions. Let's get rid of those. So I'm left with the single page that I want. So let's fill it out. I click the T icon. I can fill in any form that I like. I can even sign and date it, like so. Sign. I can move it around, line it up. Do the same thing with the date, and I'm all set. So now that I've deleted the pages that I don't want, I'm left with a single page. It's all filled out, it's signed, it's ready to go. I can print it out, or if I have PDF Factory installed, I can create a PDF out of it. Or I can save it for later if I need to use it another time. So let's try another example. So you've seen how fine print can delete pages that you don't want, fill in forms. Let's show you a couple more things. This is the home page for our website. Let's print it. Here it is in fine print. Over here on the left, I have the layout tab where I can remove the graphics with this checkbox. I can turn everything into grayscale so I can save on my color ink cartridges. Let's put that back in. If I want to delete a single graphic, I can always do that. So beyond the ink saving and paper saving features of fine print, it's also great at moving things around from one page to another. Here I have another page that I printed to fine print. In the layout tab, you can see all of the jobs you've printed. So here's the second one. If I use the snapshot tool, I can select any content I want, make a copy of it, and we can go back to the first page and paste. And so now the content that I had from the second page is on the first page where I want it. Don't need the second page anymore, so we'll get rid of that. I'm left with the one page. So you've seen a few of the highlights of fine print, but there's a lot more to it than what I've showed you. You can create booklets. You can print up to eight pages on one sheet of paper. You can print borders. You can create your own letterhead. Lots of other things. Really recommend that you download the trial version using the buttons to the right and see for yourself what fine print can do.